All right. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Hmm. Let's play the usual. Okay, what did we see about his style? What I noticed is he loves to attack. He loves to attack. And his tactics are not razor sharp. So, should I just lure him into another phony attack? Or should I show him who's boss this round? Let me try to do that. You know, I'm tired of these guys hustling me. I'm going to hustle you. That's what I'm going to try. Yeah. I mean, I should, right? It's very, it's much easier said than done, frankly. Even against a relatively weaker player because weaker players tend to be over-aggressive. And uh, over-aggression, well, you don't have to meet it with over aggression on your part you have to just blunt it and then win i mean if you want to be completely solid right now i'm not playing solid right now i'm playing a little bit modern as they would call it this is uh these are some new trends in how to handle these kind of positions uh, based from a mixture of alpha zero effects and probably other grandmaster research but this seems to be a current positional idea for white to not just simply play it slow but to in fact launch the h4 pawn up fairly early and then consider knight here you could even bring it there Another way to play it could be to just go bish, go f3 and then g4, but uh, that's even more hyper-aggressive and probably not warranted in a position like this, where it's not 100% certain that he's going to castle kingside. He can very easily move queen here and castle long. So, what's next? Good question. Hmm. Let's just keep it a little solid in the center. I considered playing d5, but I don't like the idea of his knight coming here and potentially getting a fairly good handle on that square. I don't want to have to play f3 in this setup after my rook is here. In this situation, it, it's not as bad because his knight can't go to e5. Yeah, so I'm going to retain the bishop pair, but I'm going to offer him a closed game. That's the current negotiation. So I have good long-term equity. And uh, well, it's a fairly decent position even in the short term, so no biggie. It's not as though his knights are in some beautiful outposts. They're just existing. So now is the reality of the situation. What are we going to do? He's probably planning this at some point. Because it's looking ever more likely now that he will castle kingside. And when he does, 
I'll want to play g4. Takes, 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 takes. That should be fairly pleasant. But if I don't do it right now, he can move the queen up. And that's just giving him enough of a buffer on that square. It'll force me to have to play f3 first and then do it. Which isn't as powerful. On the other hand, if I do it right now, and then his queen goes up here, then my rook is actually just a, a loose piece in a way. So all in all, it's not quite uh, ripe enough to play in this position. <clears throat> if I move my queen away from here, is his knight going to be able to come there very effectively? In many positions, it looks like the knight does come there effectively. So, I might have to play f3. But I just want to see if there's another way. Let me have another look. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't see the other way quite yet. I could even consider some queenside expansion moves just in this current uh, situation where it's not perfectly clear what you're going to do next. And actually, he can't castle queenside. I just realized he can't really castle there because my bishop will be able to capture this pawn and he won't be able to pull this up and defend because my other bishop will come in and potentially deliver checkmate. So there's a good possibility that his plans to castle queen side will be uh, huh. interesting. Yeah, so clever move, clever move. Okay, well, one thing is clear with that move is that he won't be castling kingside, um, which also means that, yeah, I can't reasonably even move my bishop out from here, can I? I would be ceding way too much ground if I were to preserve the bishop. Isn't that right? It's too strong a diagonal. Okay. Let's uh, engage the certainty that he's not going to be able to castle kingside, although he might just squirm his king over. Uh, I guess queen here is the only logical looking move. I'm considering bringing the queen there, but I'm not sure that it does anything. meaningful. 